This probably sounds like a very obvious question, but how did you come up with the name Jazz Hole? As I said, I was a jazz freak, and I had this, I, but I didn't have any capital at the time. Um, and I needed to, I wanted to open up a, a, a record store. So I had this um, close friend of mine, Wiley Oki, he's in the UK now. And we, he was in Unilag, it was the University of Lagos. And I, I would bring him down records and leave them with him, or they would listen to them all the time. So I got him in. I got him in onto jazz, and we had this jazz thing going where we play music all the time. And so one day uh, we sat down or looking for a name for a record shop. I couldn't figure out a name, and we had a location. It's not here, where I am now. It's further down the road in a place called Kefi, in front of Dordan Barracks. That was the whole, that was the whole, where the head of state used to live down at the barracks. And so we had this small, a very tiny store, a bit better than a shack. And I thought not, we couldn't think of a, of a better name than the jazz hole. And he, 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 the jazz hole came out of his mouth one day and it just, it just it stopped like that. The jazz hole. That's it, because it was just a small place. I was all, you know, that's how it came. Your musical influences, jazz, oh. can you give us any ideas, any uh, artists? Mu 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 yeah, musical influences. What were you listening to being a jazz very, fan? Very wide span. All right then, who's your number one? I know it's hard um, for jazz guys, well, hate to say it. Yeah, but spiritually, yes. when it, spiritually, jazz wise, it's for me, Coltrane. John Coltrane, spiritually, he's, he, 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 he was my major influence. Right, and blues? Blues. Uh, just one name, one person really used, really grabbed me, uh, that I liked a lot was maybe Lee Hooker, John Lee Hooker. Mm -hmm. So, you set up the show, uh, you, were going to, you added music to it. How did you come about the actual direction of the music? Because uh, having books is one thing, fine. Yeah. But because music is such a... Yeah. has so many different genres. And yeah. even though you wanted black music, if you look at yeah. black music, it's... Yeah. How did you come up with the vibe? And also, how did you then move from doing the American Western into what you're moving into, which is this whole Fadji movement? Right. Well, for me it's all the same. It's all the same black spiritual world. For me, I mean, for just listening just listen to Coltrane for me sometimes, it's like listening to an old Yoruba vibe. It's no different for me. So in terms of my, of, this, of what you see at Jazzo, primarily 
on a fundamental level is maybe my taste and out of that I top it up with all the other uh, black interests. When I say black, primarily it's black music, but I mean, there's a touch of everything contemporary here. Yeah. So I wouldn't want to just say it's racial in terms of what we select. I may not pick anything or sell anything that we feel is good music. So we see ourselves as also um, enlightening people as to what music is out there uh, and taking them out of that straight bracket. Uh, uh, style, MTV based like music, yeah. you know, so we'll have some of that pop stuff and also the, and give also access to all the other um, experimental forms of black, black music. Yeah. Yeah. So we're very open. And in terms of jazz, which is really, when we opened, jazz was a real good selling genre of music. Give me my money, give me my money.